three years ago, I had this feeling that there was something limiting me, something that I cannot see. It happened for months. As a matter of fact, I prayed, I fasted, but for some reason, that thing just, I don't know how to explain it. It was as if I cannot think beyond certain heights. It was as if something was shielding me from knowing certain things. I call it limitations because that is what they are. They limited me from attaining heights that God wanted me to attain. That was the devil. That was Satan doing his thing. Guess what? It affected me. It really dealt with me. I felt like I had no purpose, no choice, no life. I felt like this is the end. I felt like I was literally existing. I didn't understand what I was fighting. It was a confirmation of the word of God that says that we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness. And also the word of God that says, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. It was a terrible feeling. But I tell you, God has delivered me from it. God pulled me out of it. And I'm going to tell you how limitation can get into your life. And I'm going to tell you how you can get out from it. If you stick with me throughout this video, by the grace of God, I pray that you're going to take something out of it. And by the grace of God, I pray that this video is going to help you see what I'm saying. I categorized the causes of limitation that I knew. I classified it into two places, intentional exposure and unintentional exposure. In intentional exposure, this is where you are the one that caused it. In intentional exposure, you're going to see things like what you tell yourself, what you think about yourself, your daily consumption, the friends you keep, your spiritual life. I say it's intentional because you're in charge of what you say to yourself. You're in charge of what you think about yourself. You're in charge of the friends that you keep. You're in charge of your daily consumption. You're also in charge of your spiritual life. That is why I call it intentional. Let's start with what you think about yourself. I used to think that that there were heights that I can never reach. I used to think that some things, some good things are meant for special kind of people and not for me. Say to myself negative words like, oh, you're so stupid. Oh, ah, you're so callous. How did you do that? Oh, just cursing myself on the daily. And I tell you, all of these things that you do, you don't know that they have negative impact on your mental health, negative impact on your spiritual life, negative impact on the mindset you have about yourself. The way that you see yourself or the way that you carry yourself, I tell you, is like an energy, is the way that people will perceive you. Have you ever seen someone and there was something off about that person? There is just something, you can't place your hand on it, but Oh, if they made that person, something is wrong with that person, but you can't touch it. It's spirit. There is power in the tongue. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. What you have in your heart is what you're going to say. If you think that I am incapable of reaching certain heights, you will not be capable of reaching certain heights. If you say to yourself, I don't think I will be a business mogul, that is not meant for me, then you will not be a business mogul. If you say to yourself, after all, God created some people and gave them, they are rich, their parents are so rich, they are privileged, that is why they have everything. I don't think God uh, wanted me to be like that. You will be like that because that is what you think about yourself. That is what you say to yourself. Let's go to daily consumption. What are you feeding yourself mentally every day? Are there things that do with negative connotations or people telling you that some things are meant for some people and not for some people or people trying to lie to you that your chi like your own personal god kept you here and that is where you should be you were created to do great exploits what is your daily consumption who do you allow to talk to you who are your friends 
what did they say about you? What did they think about you? Are they the persons that you will talk to and then you share your dreams with them and then they will tell you, don't do it, don't add. Oh, it's not working. Oh, this business is not working in this side. You know it's not working. But when you turn your face the other side, those same friends will go start that business that you wanted to do. These are intentional things. Things that you, you, you are doing by yourself for yourself. I pray that God I pray that God delivers you from limited thinking. I pray that God delivers you from thinking that you're incapable of reaching greater heights. So what are you going to do? Change what you think about yourself. Confess good things to yourself. I'm wonderfully made. I am the righteousness of God. I am the head and not the tail. I'm a chosen nation. I'm a royal priesthood. If God says yes, who can say no? He who lives in me is greater than he who lives in the world. I choose God now and forever. God is my shield. I hide under the shadow of Almighty. These are words that you keep saying to yourself on the daily. I tell you, it's like, it's like taking tablets, Bible verses. You just take them in. These are things that you keep telling yourself before you know it, baby girl. Before you know it, handsome man. You are going to start seeing yourself and start programming your mindset in the way of the things that you're saying. That really helped me. Whenever you want to think negativity or whenever devil wants to bring negativity to you, when you hear, ah, you are, you know, you're very, you're very inferior. No one will ever trust you. You're very, you're, you're so bad. I don't think you could ever, whenever you hear those negative thoughts, I'm incapable of doing the cancel it with the word of God. Now let's go to unintentional before I wrap all of this up. In unintentional exposure, it is like some the background that you came out from, right? Or negative feedback from people. The background that you came out from, negative feedback from people, you can't control these things, right? But because you came from that background does not mean that that is your destiny. And because people have a negative feedback, because people give you negative comment does not mean that that is who you are. That is why I said that the intentional exposure is like, it's the one that you can influence. It is the one that will build up your spirit, man. Check your spiritual life for big negative statements. When someone says something that you don't like, I'm not saying you should start fighting them, but what you take from that, because words are seeds and they grow on fertile ground. So if your mind is a fertile ground for negativity to grow, they will grow. If your mind is a fertile ground for positivity to grow, they will grow. But I leave you with this word of God. I leave you with this word. Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Let's also go to Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Go to Psalm 121 verse 5. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. I'm reading NIV, New International Version. When I saw these verses, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord watches over you. Is your shade at your right hand. When I saw these verses, it was like, it's a confirmation, it's a promise from God to you. The Lord watches over you. He's your shade at your right hand. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? So what are you afraid of that will happen? What are you scared of? What is that thing that you feel like you can never attain? Whom shall you fear? fear? The Lord is your light and your salvation. Salvation is saving. The Lord is your light, your light, your light, Oko, and your salvation. Whom shall I fear? You do not have to be afraid of people. You do not have to be afraid of the future. You do not have to be afraid of your current situation. Because he promised you in Psalm 41 verse 13, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. 
And one thing I love about my Lord God is that he is not a man that he should lie. So when he tells you something and you believe in his word, he is going to do it. Oh, he has already done it. Oh, he's, he's doing it. You have to think of yourself differently. Believe in the word of God. Trust in the word of God. Watch your life. Watch your lifestyle. Watch what you think about yourself. Watch your perception. Watch your spirituality. Work on yourself. If it's a job, a skill, a school, whatever it is that you need to do, and watch yourself grow. God will not abandon you. And that limitation, you will see it breaking. And God will pull down all those arguments and obstacles and bring them to the obedience of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh my God, <laughs> this video is long. And honestly, I didn't know it was going to be this long. It just took the light again. Okay. Thank God that my, my light has battery in it. But... I'm grateful to God for this and I pray that this will touch you in the right place. I pray that this will help you break obstacles and limitations and set you free from things that are separating you from reaching and attaining your height. In Jesus name. Amen. I love you all and please like, comment and share. Share to people that you think this is going to help. I believe that this is going to touch life and I believe that this is going to help your life in Jesus name. Amen. So see you in my next video. Bye.